the signal came from a wreck, disturbed by adventuring explorers whose identity remains hidden. The wreck, however, is a thing that dwarfs any known ship hull. From the quest, words in private. Hi, I'm Drushnik. Thanks for being here and welcome back to Serverti Gaming. Today you will learn everything about the Behemoth specialization in Endless Space 2. Behemoths are massive galactic platforms that can be specialized for war, defending, or destroying a system. If you are interested in non-specialized behemoths, then watch this video. There are only three behemoth specializations in the game that are unlocked through researching blueprints of the Juggernaut, Obliterator, and Citadel. To select a specialization, select the behemoth and click on this icon. To change the specialization, Two turns will be required and the behemoth should be in orbit of the level 2 system. Now I'll go over the three specializations one by one. The Juggernaut is the largest and strongest ship in the galaxy with a times 8 module multiplier. A Juggernaut cannot use cloak, but it can be embedded in the fleet and by further upgrades either having more slots or by unlocking the Ion Wave ability. I suggest picking that. The Ion Wave is a powerful ability that completely destroys all fleets present on a node, disabling the Juggernaut for three turns and making it an easy target. The ability itself recharges 15 turns. When constructing a Juggernaut, I suggest to use lasers combining with Hisho Hero, modules and tactics to improve critical hits. However, smart players can block such tactics by using this card. If this happens, it is necessary to change the Juggernaut loadout to beam weapons or, most unexpectedly, rockets. The last thing worth mentioning is the unlocking of a unique module for each faction after researching the Juggernaut blueprint. For Umbral Choir, Overcloaker. For Hisho, Venerable Standard. For Vaulters, Mobile Teleporter. For Sophons, Quantic Flotilla Shield. For Cravers, Hive Mind Extender. For Lumeris, Mobile Commercial Branch. For Vajani, Holy Vestiment. For United Empire, Juggernaut Plating. For Horatio, Beautifier. For Riftborn, Quantum Shield. And for Nakalim, Righteous Wrath Scope. The Obliterator is a huge galactic cannon firing missiles capable of destroying entire star systems. The price of an instant shot is 480 adamantium, antimatter, quadrinix, and oracultix. However, the price decreases by 12 every turn and after 40 turns the obliterator will be ready for a free shot. After a shot, your empire will get a penalty on influence and happiness for 4 turns. I recommend building the Obliterator only with movement speed modules and, as improvement, take missile frequency. This will reduce the reload speed to 29 turns. A few facts about the Obliterator. Shots can only be fired in a state of war with the faction. Unique nodes, a collapsing star, black hole, and similar systems cannot be targeted. The faction that got targeted by the shot will be notified of the Obliterator's location. Frequent shots can cause pressure from other factions. The Obliterator cannot be cloaked, however it can be embedded in the fleet. Firing on systems with a shield deals 50% damage to the entire infrastructure and population without damaging the planets. To break through 100% defense, shield, and citadel, you need to make more than two shots. As a result, due to the price of the shot and the reload time, the Obliterator is very expensive and extremely dubious pleasure in terms of efficiency in comparison with other behemoth specializations. The Citadel, the last third specialization of the behemoth, allows you to turn it into a fortress. The Citadel is not a ship and does not have a design. When built in the system, it is tied to it, adding several neat bonuses. 800 manpower and system defense, 50% obliterator defense shield, star system trade value increased by 100%, plus 20 food production and science, plus 10 influence, and some more nice bonuses. Bonuses from the Citadel can be increased by researching Citadel extensions by unlocking the system improvements, scientific military complex, and weaponize system. The last Citadel feature is the system battery, which allows you to help your fleet in space battles by firing one round of blast effect battery, inflicting 2,000 damage to every enemy ship per phase in space battles. 
To unlock this feature, you need to research the Citadel basic upgrade and build a system improvement system battery, and for the better version, research Citadel advanced upgrade and build the advanced battery system. On the matter of shortcomings, the Citadel cannot be moved or demolished, however the Vajin faction and the Umbral Choir can transfer the Citadel to another place. I suggest building a Citadel in your faction's home system, especially if you have unique buildings, for example ITER, and in systems aimed at increased production. The main thing to remember is that all specializations are counted in the behemoth limit, and the Citadel cannot be demolished. I hope this guide was useful to you. Do not forget to leave a like, consider subscribing, and write a comment. That's it for today. See ya!